So, hey guys, Chelsea here. So yeah, back with another Far From Tia, where I use various trash map units to beat uh, different kinds of content. And yeah, this time we're actually doing Duffy 2. This will be my farewell video to Duffy 2 for a few months until it returns. And yeah, the trash map booster we're using is the, an old Beckman unit. He removes three turns of death up, and he also gives a 1.5 times uh, ore boost to the crew. So yeah, that's not actually that awful. Like 1.5 times ore boost is obviously not amazing, but obviously removing death up is very useful for this content. So yeah, outside of the Beckman. The team isn't that exciting, sadly, but yeah, my main goal with making this team was to make Beckman as useful as possible. So obviously, the death up removal is useful, but I also wanted to make good use of his ore boost. But yeah, like it's just 1.5 times, so it's not really enough unless there's something else to cover for it. And yeah, the best way to cover for it was just versus Kaido, since he does an attack boost when he's a special. So you can combine Kaido's higher attack boost with Beckman's lower ore boost. And of course Kaido has a high uh, captain multiplier, so that also covers for it. So yeah, I worked with them. And then as usual with this, you have a lot of problem with like chain lock, too little damage on some stages, matching orbs, and Shang's crew is just great at it. So even if Shang's crew is not boosted at all by Kaido, he's still a very nice glue here, and as I always say, someone has to hit first, and it's going to be Shanks crew. And yeah, we're using Vivi Rebecca here, same reasons as usual, we actually got super bad luck here and got a Cyorb, that's very rare, but we still did enough damage. But yeah, this is a bit of an unusual strat for me, like, I sometimes bring with Rebecca and don't only use her once, but then it's to remove damage reduction. But this time I'm only using her to remove uh, death up here, and then the next that's the only thing she's going to remove. So instead, we have another unit that can also remove damage reduction it's the Kizuna Rare Recruit book from the first team Kizuna. And yeah, it's a Brook unit, so you can run Sanji support to remove poison. And yeah, as you know, I just hate dealing with poison. But yeah, we used his, uh, the Stampede bug last stage. That's actually the only stage we'll use him. We don't need him anymore. He's just used anyway because, of course, removing Para. And he was just perfect for that particular stage. And yeah, that's it really. But yeah, here we used versus Kaido and Treasure Map boost to Beckman. So yeah, they give an attack boost and orb boost together and we still have the Shanks crew chain lock, so yeah, very easy kill. And yeah, I set up so that Vivi is dex here, so we can swap her to strength to guarantee uh, three matching orbs. And those matching orbs together with Kaido's orb boost and the Shanks crew attack boost and Vivi's chain lock will let us easily kill Sugar and also put a big dent in uh, trouble which will be important because we want to kill him next turn since yeah we don't have anything to deal with the buy uh, the despair so we have to kill him and yeah thankfully the we rebecca swap and shang screw swap will uh, get us the damage we need for versus kaido and stampede buggy to get the kill and yeah we're using uh, Kizuna Brook here removes 5 turns of damage reduction. He also does a shame boost and um, uh, some beneficial slots, but none of these come into play this round. He's just here for the damage reduction, for being a strength unit, and of course for uh, the Sanji support to remove the poison. But yeah, this. This stage is going to be super conventional, or not super conventional, we do have a cool Weavy play that I've never done before, which isn't too bad. It's just that you can usually not do it because you're using Weavy in turn 1 this stage. But yeah, as you see, we will soon be ready here. 
We'll also try and hit as many perfects as we can because yeah, the HP is a bit low. The first run I did with this team, I didn't do an effort to maximize my HP, so I had like 300 HP left against Diamante. But yeah, now we're going to set up for the burst turn. We'll burst at the latest possible time because it works out as such that uh, LB plus versus Kaido is at 4 CD then, and 4 CD is exactly what we need. So yeah, it worked out perfectly CD wise. And yeah, I set up so I can swap change crew to Sai, swap Rebecca to Dex, and yeah, use her special to get extra damage, and yeah. Despite the ship not boosting Dex, this will be very important extra damage. And yeah, we're just going to swap change crew here and use his special and that is basically always enough damage for this stage. It's one of the main reasons why change crew friend captain in particular is so good for this. And yeah, there's only really uh, two units, four units doing damage too, but it's still well enough damage. So yeah. Final stage and versus Kaido is ready again. Beckman is ready. We're only going to use their two specials, so we're having the 3.5 times chain lock from Shank Crew, 2.25 times attack boost from versus Kaido, 1.5 times orb boost from Beckman, and the 1.3 times color affinity from Kid. So, yeah, even if the buffs aren't the highest, we have a lot of strength units, five of them. And we also have high captain multipliers like Kaido's 5 times attack, Shanks crew 4.5 times attack. So yeah, I set it up so I kill the first off with the first 3 attacks and the last with the last 3. And Batman gets the kill. So yeah, bye bye Doffy 2. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.